<sighs> hey, what's up, everybody? Today is one of those days. I just watched a 53 minute documentary on how watches are made in Switzerland. 95% of it was in English. <laughs> it, was, it was a pretty interesting documentary, although. Like, I get people can be passionate about what they do, but at one point throughout this documentary, I was almost certain that there was gonna be a love scene. Ugh. I loved doing the pan shot. It was like this. Here's Dan in his natural habitat. Oh no, I think he just farted. This is that. He wonders someday why the sky is blue, but not red. I use uh, I use my iPad a lot for uh, killing time whenever I'm traveling on planes, long car rides. Uh, this Thursday I'll be driving to Texas, so I'm off again. But I will have video ready for next Wednesday. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So what I did was I took my iPad, I've categorized all the games, all the photo apps, all the social networking apps that I use, and I want to show you guys what is on my iPad. Let's do it! So here we have my iPad. So the first one we're going to do is social. So we got StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Vine, Snapchat, Pages, Netflix, Instagram, Vivo, and Kick. Actually, I don't know why Netflix is there, because Netflix is kind of like the opposite of social. Let's go into news. News, this is where I get all my information, what I find the coolest. So these are all the apps that I use my camera for. So we got Split Pick Pro. This one's super fun, super awesome. There's um, a free version of this. But what it is, is you can take multiple pictures and then blend them. I'll show you. So this is me and my brother. It is the creepiest picture I've ever seen. My lower half and his upper half. The way it works, you can choose to blend the lines, see how it's more, you can see where the photo is taken, and you can blend it so it looks like a normal human and they look really messed up. You pick all different types of layouts and platforms. So I'll put my hand like this. See the picture, so the, the, it leaves half the image there. And then what you can do is you can add like a, another finger to your hand. So that was just a quick one, then what you do is you go OK, and then you blend the lines so it looks more real. So it looks like I have six fingers when I really only have five. Oh my god! For all my Instagram photos, I use Visco Cam. It's free, I highly suggest you guys get it. It is only for the iPhone or the Android, it's not meant for the uh, iPad, so I'll have to double take it. You go to library, you can import a picture, you then click it, paint brush it, and what's cool is you can change all the filters on it. There's a bunch of free filters. You click it again, you can tweak how much you want to be done with it. Um, you can change the exposure, so you brighten it up a lot. Uh, temperature, if there is color. All kinds of different stuff. Then you can crop it for Instagram, and that way it doesn't uh, get crushed when it gets into Instagram. This is probably my favorite photo app. You guys should definitely check it out. Visco Cam, V-S-C-O. Great Hair HD. This one is so much fun. So what you do is you take a picture, you go use, and then what you do is you fit on different hairstyles. They have all kinds of different celebrities. Um, or if you're genuinely curious what you would look like with a certain haircut, um, you test it out on here first and get a, a general idea. So I've always wanted pink hair like Nicki Minaj. So let's see. Yeah, I look great. I'm gonna go for it. I have Polly D. Caps are here! Now the best photo app that I have in terms of taking photos, which you guys all need to get, is called Pro HDR. I have it for my iPhone, I downloaded it for the iPad just to show you guys what it does, but um, when you get a, a landscape shot, oftentimes the sky is too bright, so it's, you tap it, and it takes two pictures. It gets the highlights, and then it gets the shadows, and then it combines the two to create a fully like colorful photo for you. And then you can tweak it, get the max potential of your photo. For games, oh my god! Okay, my top ones right now, Timberman. And you just gotta chop the tree. And you got this red bar at the top, and that's gonna go down faster and faster. Um, so you gotta speed up as you get higher up in the tree. Fun Run, if you guys are into multiplayer games, Fun Run is the one you gotta get. So here's Fun Run, you hit play. This is a multiplayer game, almost like Mario Kart. 
You can uh, vote on your map. The bottom left corner is your item, so I got a shield right now, so I'm gonna push it. And what you do is it runs automatically, all you gotta do is hit that. So basically there's obstacles that come your way, and you just gotta hop, and you have to uh, get your enemies with items that you get from there. Whenever I play this game, I feel like a senior citizen. What it is, is you get a bunch of dots, and all you gotta do is create the most combinations as possible in 30 moves. I love the sound effects of this one. Check it out. Plague. Plague is a pretty fun one. I don't know if a lot of you guys may have heard of it. This game is very creepy. What you do is you create a disease and you have to take over the world with this disease and eventually you gotta make it lethal and you gotta wipe out the entire population of the world. You go in here and you can modify your disease by making it transmittable through rats, birds, air, water, uh, symptoms. You can make them have diarrhea, throw up, lack of sleep, and then you can change its ability against cures. So there you guys have it. That is my iPad. Um, don't judge me because I know people are like, oh my god, he plays that game. I, I was playing my iPad around one of my younger cousins and she goes, why are you playing games for 12 year olds? <laughs> ah, well, you know what? Um, it's okay, like, I don't use them all religiously. So there you guys have it. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.